Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Today with a follow-up video about this little charge meter here, which I analyzed in another video to be not very accurate or to be precise, to be unusable. Um, some users have commented that this thing indeed does have a software calibration function, which I didn't know of uh, before. So I've taken out a fresh unit, not the one I tested the last time, uh, just to make sure that due to the unsoldering of the uh, seven segment LED display uh, that I didn't break anything. So this is my uh, second nearly virgin uh, unit. And before the calibration, let's just check the initial accuracy of this thing. I've connected it uh, with uh, two multimeters to measure voltage and current independently. Uh, so at the moment we see we have 8.19 uh, volts without any load. It displays 1.82, that's quite okay. So let's start the initial measurement uh, and we get 2.07 amps delivered and it displays two point, let's wait a second, 2.169. That is around 100 milliamps off. So let's see if this goes down when we calibrate this thing. And for that purpose, uh, you have to press all three buttons, which is quite difficult on camera, camera before you connect the USB 5 volt power. Uh, let's see. No. Yeah. Uh, here it displays. This probably means 0 amps, 0 volts. So we'll disconnect the power and just shorten out. Perhaps this is just for measuring the offset voltage. Let's press OK. Next we get, I hope you can see the reflections here are quite bad, is 10.0 U, which probably means 10.0 volts. So let's reconnect the power and set in as good as possible 10 volts. So this shall be good enough. Press OK. Next we obviously, well, what is it? 200 milliamps or 2 amps? Well, we don't see the decimal point, so this is probably 200 milliamps. So this is the best I could get the setting uh, to, 201 milliamps. So this half, half of a percent error. Now let's press OK again. OK, this was apparently the calibration. Um, now let's check if this has gotten any better. So now I've changed uh, the settings a little bit so that we get um, with, with our nearly 4 ohms load resistor, uh, we get a current in the of a few hundred milliamps so that we can see the deviation just in the lower range and um, let's just start this thing and we get a current of 0.29 amps and we get displayed 0.34 amps so this is still 50 milliamps out uh, way too much error and I think the reason is the self-calibration only calibrates or with the self-calibration you can only calibrate the scale factor but not the offset of the op-amp so this thing is 
still useless. The, not only is the hardware being done not very good, the calibration again has an error. So um, let's finally see if this thing also has the timing error. Therefore I will have to change the settings again a little bit to input exactly uh, one amp. And let's see if we at least get the right amp hours uh, displayed. So I fiddled around a bit with the settings so that when we start this thing we get a displayed current of as near as possible to one amps and uh, let's try to start this thing exactly with the timer. So let's just wait what we get. Okay we get 1.013 amps. You again can see that it's about 60, millivol uh, 60 milliamps out from the true uh, value. So le let's just wait and see if this thing sums up at least this one amp current uh, more or less exactly. So we're nearly done at uh, half an hour. I'll try to stop both at the same time. And okay. So we have 0 0.494 amp hours. Um, that is much better than the first measurement. So there might have been something wrong with the first one. Uh, we, we have a 2% error that's uh, quite okay. So obviously um, the, time, the internal timing of the amp hour counter is okay in this unit. But uh, the worst problem is we still have the offset in the op amp in the current measurement range. Now if you're measuring one or two amps, 70 milliamps out, uh, which still is a 7% error, uh, might not disturb you. But I want to use this for a battery measurement with discharge currents of a few dozen up to a few hundred milliamps. And there the error is completely intolerable. So for me this thing is still unusable, um, just not to say it's a piece of shit uh, concerning the engineering. Uh, the, the calibration routine just lacks uh, calibrating out the offset or error of the op amp that amplifies the voltage over the current shunt. And that's the worst uh, thing to say about this. Uh, for me, unusable. So. So for measuring uh, high currents above one amp, this might be okay for you, but for me it's not. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time. And you can support me on Patreon if you want. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.